And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, Derek, this should be a top class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Look at the opposition starting lineup today. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Brian Cristante starts alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Paolo Dybala. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Paredes. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. In position. Palms away by the keeper. How can he take them on and beat them? Dybala. And he takes it on. Somehow the goalkeeper got to it. to pick out a teammate could still be dangerous chance to cross making sure nothing untoward happened well you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow Stuart what do you think we'll see from him today well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways, but I think he's at his most dangerous when he's running with the ball and hitting his shots with power. It's almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper. That's what makes him a great finisher. And just flicked off the defender, so a corner coming up. Taken short. He takes aim, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. short a really 
top-notch piece of defending. Gonna get a try. Oh, great block. Playing it short. Has someone to play it to. Straight forward for the keeper. Paredes. Dybala. Spinazzola. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Lukaku waiting, able to deal with the threat. Calvin Stings. Went in strongly to win the ball. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Vistante. <laughs> Lukaku in position. Couldn't get a hold of it. No nonsense clearance. Ndika is with Paredes. Paredes. And quick thinking defensively. That's a really good run. Well, an excellent sliding tackle, and it had to be. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Lukaku. Vistante. And they've given him too much space. Dante, now with Paredes, can they forge ahead, the opening goal in the final, and how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor, they make so many bad decisions there, no wonder the keeper's exposed. And there we have it. That will be all for the first half here in Stuttgart. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there.
Easy save. Couldn't hang on to it. And room now out on the wing. He didn't go as a plan in the end. to Rome on the wing Lukaku on to Cristante and just flicked off the defender so a corner coming up courtesy of Dybala well, the danger is still there superb defensive judgment to end the attack Ivanushets this might have potential he could pick out a teammate might be onto something with that ball and that the piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again They will make the change now. Trying to pick out a teammate. And clearing it away. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Now this could be productive. final analysis it was good defending this attack looks highly promising but they dealt with the threat posed Lukaku and space to cross it Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. Inside the final quarter of an hour now. Plenty of options. But really sticking to their task defensively. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. to intervene oh he's left his marker for dead not messing around with that clearance lastly time tackle now counter attacking possibilities can they keep it going Dybala, and he's in, and a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue.
Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Linger. Santiago Jimenez. And he's broken free. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. And well, they stopped them in their tracks. And now we can say it officially. They have won the UEFA Europa League. Well, great emotions here, Derek. Just look at the joy on these players' faces. They've been absolutely brilliant today. Such a high level of competition this term. But they have been the best side. And nobody can contradict that. Well, this is great for the players. They know how good they've been. It's just a case of picking up the trophy now.